Well, actions, they speak louder than words. And what you're doing is quite literally the opposite of what you were saying. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Zach Efron lied to us. That's right. You know Zac Efron. He starred in Baywatch, got extremely shredded, had an amazing physique. And then he came clean, so to speak. Said, hey guys, I want to admit this. I use PDs. I use Lasix. It's a diuretic. Help me get shredded. And it affected me mentally. I got depressed, hated my life. I was suffering. Affected his sleep, his mood, energy, everything. And well, I'm never going to do that again. Only he did. And so look at Zac Efron. Look at his physique. Does that even look like him? The guy looks shredded, single digit body fat, exactly what he spoke out against. Oh, I don't want to diet. It makes you feel like garbage. I hate it. Never going to do that again. Next film. Look what we're looking at. And so imagine the director thinking, well, we need a guy to play a jacked shredded wrestler from the past. Who are we going to pick? I know, let's go to Zac Efron. You know that guy who started Baywatch who says he'll never do this again? Well, actions, they speak louder than words. And what you're doing is quite literally the opposite of what you were saying. And so you see Zac Efron, he's wandering around wearing nothing but a towel. Just a towel. And quite literally it says, letting his ripped frame do the talking between takes. And so last I checked, when people refer to you as ripped, well, you're lean. Single digit body fat on a diet. Exactly the opposite of what he said he didn't want to do anymore. The star who has always been known for his hunky frame has gained a substantial amount of muscle to recreate Von Erich's frame. And so is Zach a guy that's known to be honest, to just talk about everything? Oh, I never had facial reconstruction surgery. I just do what the doctors told me I needed to do. It had nothing to do with trying to change my face. Only look at the difference. You don't change that drastically from anything minor. This is clearly, at least in my opinion and in Derek's and others, a facial reconstruction surgery. And so if you're willing to lie about facial reconstruction, you're not willing to lie about what PDs you're taking. Does anyone really think he's only taken Lasix? Does this look like the physique of a guy who's only taken Lasix, a diuretic? And frankly, he looks bigger and almost as shredded as he was in Baywatch. The guy's 35. He's getting older, yet he's putting on a substantial amount of muscle. I mean, what is it? Is he being trained by Michael Hearn? After all, if you're trained by Michael Hearn, you're 100% natural and you get bigger forever, right? And in Men's Health, title reads, Zac Efron is looking jacked AF. That means as cookbook as he trains to be a wrestler. And is it in fact his new diet? Is he in fact training seven hours a day? Of course not. It's almost always going to boil down to which PDs are you taking? And we know he's lied in the past. He's recently come out and said, oh, it was the Lasix, a diuretic. Sure, that can explain looking extra shredded and dry. But is that really all you're taking? And so Afron will play a world heavyweight champion, Kevin Von Irish, a role which required him to pack on some serious mass. And remember, a heavyweight champion. A shredded heavyweight champion. In a training photo recently tweeted out by Complex, Afron is in amazing shape, rocking some jacked arms and a defined chest on top of the shredded six-pack abs, which he keeps as a mainstay. Notice that. Keeps that during the entire movie. Stays shredded 24-7. Yet, we all remember what he spoke out about Baywatch, that 2017 role. I started to develop insomnia. I fell into a pretty bad depression for a long time. Something about that experience burned me out. I had a really hard time recentering. Yet, here he is doing it again. And so, is that not the definition of insanity? When you experience something horrible, say you're never going to do it again, and then you do it again. When will he learn from this? That Baywatch look. I don't know if that's really attainable, he elaborated. Yet here he is even more jacked than last time. And perhaps this time he's not on Lasix. Perhaps the only difference. Yet if he were to pop a Lasix, do a peak week plan, he would literally be just as lean as he was in Baywatch. And so a number of people sent me these photos saying, what is going on here? What is wrong with his stomach? Why is it so distended? It's got to be GH. What is causing this, Coach Greg? 
And so the first thing you have to consider is these photos were taken when he was not prepared. He is unaware it is not, quote, flexing for the camera. And so when you're a walk around, minding your own business, living day to day, breathing in and out, perhaps he eats something, you have food in your stomach. That food, when your stomach is relaxed, is going to distend your abdomen. Can GH make it worse? Absolutely. Can PDs do this? Yes. Your organs can quite literally expand. They can become bigger, badder, and people often refer to this as a GH gut, a bubble gut. And whether or not he's on GH, of which I personally do believe that he is. I mean, if I were Zac Efron, I would be going to an HRT clinic and saying, give me everything you can. I need to get jacked for this role. I need to put on a significant amount of muscle while being in a calorie deficit. And I need to not only do that, I need to maintain that look for months while I shoot for this role. And so if he could take growth hormone, testosterone, DECA, Anivar, you name it, prescribe it to me at the highest dose you dare. And so personally, I believe that's what's happened here. And so is the abdominal protruding slightly? Yes. But listen, that is 100% normal, whether you're on growth hormone or not. And so check out my stomach right now. Right this minute, I've had breakfast, whatever. Does that look like a growth hormone stomach? What about now? And just so you know, I'm not on GH, have not taken it for many years. And even when I did, did not really take that much. And before I took growth hormone, for example, when I was in my 20s, had the same thing. You eat food and your stomach expands. We like to call it a food baby. And so when we show photos on social media, we're flexing for all we're worth. Or as if our life depended on it. There's no air left. <sighs> Blow out all your air, tense your core. Abdominals obliques as tight as they can possibly be. This is Zac Efron not giving his shit, just walking around literally in a towel saying, hey, this is how I look. I don't care. Yet you still see a shredded midsection. You see just how lean the guy really is. It's not the best camera angle, the lighting oiled up with a pump. This is a guy walking around out of the shower. And so that to me, that is an amazing physique. And having a slight stomach protrusion, who cares? And so stop comparing yourself to other people. You think you need to have a shredded abdominals and obliques to look good? Of course not. Zac Efron is close to 7% body fat here. He shredded. If he were to do one peak week, pop some Lasix, guy could step on stage, probably win a men's physique competition. And so whether you look at him from the front, from the side, you can tell the guy is shredded. Look at the arms. Check out as he does those bicep curls. And what you immediately notice is the guy has some biceps, but his triceps, they're very small. And so the overall circumference, the girth, so to speak, of the arm, it's not that big. But what it is, it's shredded. That is peeled. Oh, perhaps he's just lean from the front. Look at from the back. The guy is not flexing. I can see every muscle in his back. Imagine if he were to get pumped up, do a bunch of chin-ups, and then hit a back double bicep or rear lat spread. The guy is shredded, single-digit body fat, and in striking distance of being as lean as he was in Baywatch. And in comparison to his look in Baywatch, where he's pumped up clearly, and if you compare him now to then, he's significantly larger, has more muscle than he did back then. Perhaps he's not as lean, but that's because he hasn't dropped his water. And so as he stands there to the side, completely relaxed, in a towel, letting his gut hang out, probably to keep the towel from slipping off. Y'all do that? Well, if he were to do an after photo and said, hey, I dieted for eight weeks, and all he would have to do is blow his air out and flex his arm, you would say, oh my goodness, he did that in only eight weeks. Only it would be eight seconds. And so take my word for it. Zach is peeled, as Derek puts it, out of his tree right now. He looks absolutely incredible, but don't think this is natural. Just because he came out and said, oh, I'll never do this again, and I'm going to admit to taking a bad PD called Lasix, doesn't mean he's 100% natural now. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think the guy's natural? And do you care? It's his body, his choice. As long as he's not breaking the law, does it matter? It doesn't matter! Personally, I would love it, love it to death if he came out and said, this is what I took. I went to my HRT clinic, and here are my doses. This is my exact cycle. Imagine if he could come clean and admit everything. I took PDs for a year straight to get ready for this role. 
And I dieted my ass off and I suffered because I wanted you to enjoy this movie. I wanted to play the part. He's doing this for us. Yes, he gets paid. But in the end, we're the ones that go to the movie and enjoy his work. Hope you enjoyed the video ending it here. And if you want natural supplements, you don't need to be enhanced, please click the link in the description. Use code GREG, 10% off. Protein powders, pre-workouts, G-Shred, G-Stim, Acti Builder, formerly known as Turk Builder. You can, in fact, make a difference with these supplements. You can build muscle, burn fat, go to the gym, 150 minutes of cardio a week. Subscribe, click the bell button, watch at least one of these two bloops. And until next time, I am out.